Muba Ma Cheese Lovers. It's Mr. Moo reporting live from the barnyard. We're here today to talk about one of my favorite cheeses, Outblossom. Outblossom comes from Ebersbach, Germany, otherwise known as Bavaria. That's right, not just the home of the incredible pretzel, but the home and origin of Outblossom, the most beautiful cheese on Instagram. This cheese is made by a man named Albert Krauss. Albert's been making cheese for 20 years, but he's been around milk his whole life. His dad actually owned a dairy farm, and now his brother owns and operates that dairy farm and supplies Albert with two thirds of his milk to make this glorious cheese. And let's talk about the cheese. The cheese is made from brown Swiss cows. The milk is raw. They use a traditional calf stomach rennet to separate the curd, and it's aged for seven months. Cook press curd, wash rind, after seven months, what do they do? They shower it with 13 different herbs and flowers, giving it the most glorious look I've ever seen. What are the 13? Well, we got celery, we got chervil, we got chives, we got corn flour, we got lavender, we got lavage, we got marjoram, we got marigold, we got onion, we got oregano, parsley, rose petals, and savory. And they sprinkle it all on by hand to give it this glorious look. But here's the thing. It doesn't just look incredible, it actually tastes even better. And let's try it. First, I like the smell. Ooh, I get some oregano and I get some creme fraiche. Then, I like to play with the paste. And the paste has got a nice texture to it and I throw it in my mouth. And immediately I'm struck by the oregano. It's absolutely delicious. But I also get a hint of lavender and it's really lactic, like I get butter, creme fraiche, yogurt, and then it's also brothy. There's that, that meaty quality, I think, from the traditional calf stomach rennet. Plus the texture is just bovine. It is kind of like fudgy and kind of like fatty. And what I mean by fudgy is imagine eating fudge, and what I mean by fatty is that take a piece of barbecue uh, beef, take the fat, put it in your mouth, and not just the texture, but how it like coats the inside and roof of your mouth is what I get from this cheese. And so, in closing, this cheese is one of the prettiest cheeses you could put on your plate, but it's also one of the malicious, delicious cheeses you've ever ate. So, woo!